My name is David Pat. I'm a personal trainer. Six. Also known Five. as a life changer. Make sure you come to full extension. Four. There's three. Two. I think for a lot of people, fitness is a, one of those things that they've always really wanted. They're, they've always wanted to be healthy. They've always wanted to, you know, to lose weight. Um, but because you know, things in their life like just too, they're too busy or um, they can't find the t they can't find the time to do it. They don't want to do it. Um, I want to be able to help them achieve their goals and to really change their life and really kind of reach that that high high fitness level they've always wanted. Flex right there. Good. Come now down, feel the stretch, come up full extension, right there, that's your insertion point. Every time I go to work, good, right, good, I'm helping someone to live a healthier life, right, to live longer. <laughs> two more, two more. I mean, for a lot of people, it helps them be a better dad, right, being able to be fit, play with their kids. Um, for, a lot of, for a lot of moms, it just gives them more energy, right, to do the things they need to do. Six, touch your elbows, your knees. Six more. Five, good, touch your elbows, your knees. I think the most important thing is for them to realize the lifestyle. Um, the reason why fad diets don't work and a lot of these yeah, products out of boxes don't work is that it doesn't change your lifestyle, right? A lot, of pe a lot of people, when they buy a product out of a box, they still, like, they still go to McDonald's. They still eat that Big Mac, right? Um, what I hope to do, do with people is I hope to show them how to eat right, right? So that when they go to the grocery market, they look at the foods. They know exactly what to buy, right? When they go to a gym, right, they actually know how to use the equipment in the gym. So that they're not just using this thing, product out of a box and you know, not making any difference. In life. But I want to help people achieve overall fitness, overall health. Good. Try, try to calm yourself down. Try to calm your heart rate down. Right. Natural bodybuilding. Natural bodybuilding is bodybuilding that, is, that uses substances approved by the World Anti-Doping Agency, which is the same agency that tests for the Olympics. Um, natural bodybuilding assumes that you're not using steroids, you're not using any kind of um, hormones, right, like growth hormones, um, you're not using any recreational drugs. Um, the reason why natural body came about is because for regular bodybuilding, or we call it enhanced bodybuilding, um, there, there's a lot of people who are just messing up their health. Right? You guys hear a lot of the scandals today in, in baseball and other sports and track. Just the, a lot of these guys are taking steroids and stuff. Well, the reason why that's so bad is because, especially for bodybuilding, a lot of guys were dying from these drugs. Mm -hmm. So a lot of guys came out and said, hey, how can we save the sport? Right? How can we make sure that our top athletes don't die like two or three years later? So that then came about natural bodybuilding. Um, and as a, as a Christian, for me, I mean, it just, it just made sense, right? Because, I mean, when you, when you read through the Bible and which, what Jesus says about your body, right? Take care of your body for God. Um, it just made sense because I don't want to expose myself to that kind of stuff. Boom. Hit a flex. That's why this mirror's right here. Right? You're flexing for the mirror. Go down, right? Boom. Flex. Relax down. Boom. Flex. I think for a lot of bodybuilders, like Arnold Schwarzenegger, Boom. has to be you know, one of the top guys up there. Yeah. Uh, especially because I live in California. He's my governor now. <laughs> you know, um, To see him as a, as a movie star, to see him as a governor. I, I mean, I, I think as a governor, you see him do a lot of changes, right? He does a lot of after school programs move with forward, kids. Um, so right. it really, really um, right, impacts you. It makes you think about. What are some of the ways you can use the sport to really help you? Like you gotta move your arms back, palms in the sky. Elbows are hinges up. Hinges don't move. The worst client I've ever had um, was actually um, an actor. Um, this. Was one guy came okay. up to me. He was sh right. he was shooting a, a boxing movie, a right? So he needed to get in shape quick right, that, for his that, boxing that piece, movie. That piece, that piece the reason why he was the worst client, um, I guess I don't know if it's his actors in general or if it's just him. Um, I remember I would go to the gym, right, and I would, I would look around and couldn't find this guy. I would call him up, and he's just getting out of bed. Right. So after, after an hour later, of which I just waited at the gym for this guy, he would show up and he would work out. And this guy has a fitness background. I mean, this guy is like a tennis player and all this stuff. Um, but he just wouldn't work. He just would not work. I, I would try to push him and stuff, and he would just complain and, and cry. And he was in bad shape. Right, he just wouldn't push hard. So he, that, that to me is the worst kind of client. Like to show, to show up late and to not work hard when you're there. Um, the best client I've ever had, uh, the best client I've ever had was, um, I don't know if you guys remember, but there's a tsunami uh, back a few years ago in like Southeast Asia. Um, and he actually wanted to go there to do relief efforts during spring break. Um, so one of the biggest things was that, because he's carrying boxes all the time, he wanted to get in good shape. So I actually, I did, I, I meet up with, I met up with him twice a week, right, to get him ready for Southeast Asia. I mean, this guy took it seriously. This guy 
um, showed up, showed up on time, showed up regularly, uh, and because I mean he was doing it, he was doing it because he was passionate about it. He felt passionate about helping people. Um, he really, really worked hard, and you could really see, see the difference. Um, I, I t t talked to him the other day, and I mean some of the stuff I still showed him, and he's still using, right? Yeah. So it actually made a difference right. in his life. Right. Hopefully, this, the information that you learn, you're gonna, you're gonna use it for yeah. the rest of your life, and hopefully pass on to your kids, Reflex. right? If you look at all these stats, all these like fat kids and like sedentary kids. Um, part of the reason is to look at their parents. Look at their parents watching TV, right, just on the internet, being a keyboard commando, not really doing anything, and then they pick that up. But hopefully, when, when, when these guys start having kids and stuff, right, um, they're, teaching, they're teaching their families how to live healthy lifestyles. All right, well, thank you for your time. All right.